In this video tutorial, we're going to show you how to use the Descriptives tool, which is part of Excel's uh, analysis, data analysis tool pack. Okay, first you're going to have to add in analysis tool pack. This is called an add-in. Watch what I do. You go to File, go to Options. You're, you're, you're in... Um, Sorry, let's get back to Excel. Okay, file. There you go. File. Then we go to options. Then you go to add ins. You see in the bottom it says manage Excel add ins. Go and check analysis tool pack. Let's check it and say OK. And now we're going to be using these tools. They're very valuable tools for analysis. OK, if you did it right, when you go to data, you'll see data analysis. If it's not checked, you won't see this thing, a tool called data analysis. Again, you have to check off analysis tool pack to have that. OK, now we're going to show you a quick way to get descriptive statistics. Now, I won't give you the median. Uh, actually, it might give you the median. It won't give you the quartiles. It won't give you percentiles, but it'll definitely give you very important statistics and very quickly. You will get the mean and the standard deviation, a whole bunch of other things. So let's see how to do this. Again, keep in mind where the data is located. You have to always remember that. And that was D2 to D13. That's your input data. And now we go to the analysis tool pack. Data? Data. Analysis, data analysis from the analysis tool pack. Okay, and now you look for descriptive statistics. It's called descriptive statistics. Notice there are other things here that we're gonna learn. You have a correlation. There are other things here that we're gonna use. You're gonna need this tool pack. It's very useful. So go to descriptive statistics. Okay. And now again, I need to show the computer where the input range is. So you'll grab it for me. I'm going to grab it. And did it come out right? Yes. Yes. And notice this is a default group by columns. So ready, group by columns. It's in the column. It's going to go into a new worksheet. Now make sure you check summary statistics. You want to make sure that's checked off. Otherwise, you won't get anything. You want the basic summary statistics. Okay. You know, the confidence level we didn't, we didn't learn, so ignore it for now. Okay? And again, in the output options, you can decide where you want to put this. I want it on a new worksheet. I say OK. And I'm going to expand this so you can read it. Okay. Notice what you have. You've got the mean. We did this the hard way, one by one. You got the mean, 73.5. You got the standard error, which I didn't. you didn't learn yet, but you're going to learn that in the second half of the course. Basically, so, you get a lot of good stuff that you would have had to do one at a time before using the formula. And this is nice. Yes, you got the median. Uh, the mode, it'll give you the mode, but the, I, would, I wouldn't use it. It's not so reliable in Excel. But it says not applicable because it wasn't the mode, because no value showed up more than once. All right, so we have a standard deviation, same as before. The variance, which is the standard deviation squared. By the way, the standard deviation here is a sample standard deviation. Kurtosis, which your teacher may or may not teach you. Skewness, you're going to learn about that is. And then you have the range of the data. You also can see the range. The highest score on that test was 100. And the, and the, data. The lowest is a 44, so the range is 56. You also have the sum, and of course you have the count. Always check the count to make sure it corresponds. Make sure you got all the numbers. Yeah, some of these people are not careful. We have all 12 numbers. See, right away in one shot, I got some of the very basic statistical measures that you need. Okay. Okay, good luck. Okay.